In this video, I'm going to show you how to strip, clean and service a pair of 6x30 German World War II binoculars. The same also applies for 7x50 and 10x50s, although roof prisms, Poro 2 and gas ocular are completely different. But if this video is well received, I will do videos about how to strip and clean them. But before we begin, you will need a few items. First off, a set of good quality jeweler's screwdrivers or precision screwdrivers, a lens cloth, some lens cleaning fluid, and some latex gloves. I also like to use this as well. I think it's called a boa strap. It's absolutely fantastic for this job because it's hard plastic and flexible rubber it won't scratch or damage any of the paint work. and that ultimately is what we want to do if a pair of binoculars needs to be cleaned and serviced we want to get into them get them clean and come out again without doing any damage no scratches nothing so to begin with first off extend the diopter right the way up to its fully extent. Grab the strap, make sure it's a nice tight snug fit, grip the body of the binocular and turn anti-clockwise because it's a right hand thread going anti-clockwise will undo it, clockwise will do it, do it up obviously. There it is. It's normally or they are normally quite stiff if they are and won't come off just with a good tight pull on that, what I've done in the past is used a hair dryer in and around here, which helps to loosen off any of the wax or the lubricant, which tends to spot weld itself to the threads. I've also been known to put them into an oven for about four or five minutes, maybe 10 maximum at about 70 degrees. It's worth noting, do not put leather or anything else, obviously, into the oven. Just take off all the straps, covers, etc. So, we've now undone this. We take the post right the way out. And then set it to the side. I'm using my 8x30 Ara lens here, but as I say, it's exactly the same for a set of 6 bys. So, find a screwdriver in your set that is a perfect fit, and I mean a perfect fit. It's got to be absolutely snug, because if not, and the screws are tight, you will slip and you will scratch this. Once it's scratched, you can't really repair it. So, onwards and upwards. Nice tight fit, press down hard, and loosen the screws off. Once you get them up to a certain length you can undo them by hand. Set them to one side. Keep them all together because we know what happens with the screw fairy comes along, removes them and they end up in the hoover, in the dog's fur, in your lunch. And that's not really what we want is it? So, and now we're almost there, the last screw just coming out now, so now all the screws have been removed, we need to remove the plate, for this I use bamboo stick rather than you could use a screwdriver but if you slip again you're going to score the plate and that's not what we want to do I use the strap or the strap holder as a fulcrum press it right in and it begins to lift it up A 
as you can see it's beginning to come now now so I'm beginning to lift, you should be able to see what has been holding it down. All of this grease and wax. That's the plate away. Set it to one side. On opening, this is what you will find. I'm not sure of the technical word for this, but I call it the prism holding plate or the prism holding bar. You'll notice there's one screw and underneath there is a slot. It fits into that slot and the screw holds the prism in place. In my next video, I'll show you how to remove that and remove the prism for cleaning.